Christine on the scene for Snapshots, and we are here with We Were the Lucky Ones. And to your left, we have Erica Lepes. She's the creator and showrunner. In the middle, we have Joey King, who plays Helena Kirk. And we have Georgia Hunter, who is the author. Ladies, welcome to DC. Thank, Thank you. you. Georgia, I'm going to start with you. We have a New York Times bestseller, sold over a million copies. Tell us about the process of having this story of hope brought to life on Hulu. Oh, wow, it has been uh, the experience of a lifetime, um, hands down. It has, gosh, it started as such a passion project. Um, age 15, discovering this piece of my family history. The book is based entirely on my grandfather's story, um, his siblings, this family of Polish Jews. Um, something he never talked about as a kid when we were when I was growing up even though he was we were neighbors we were very close but um, learned about it after he had died thanks to a school project and an interview with my grandmother fast forward through some family reunions overhearing some stories that I'd never heard before and um, in 2008 I decided I was gonna set off and try to record the story really for the purpose of honoring my ancestors and and trying to tell it as truthfully as I could how how they managed to survive the Holocaust and also so that my kids and their kids and so on could could pick it up and 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 understand where they came from in their own roots um, that whole process took me almost a decade um, and then um, a dear friend, Tommy Kale, called um, after the book came out and said, hey, buddy, how would you like to partner up and try to bring this to the screen? And um, we go way back. I think we've known each other 25 years. So to be able to partner with not only someone who's insanely talented and one of the best humans I know, but um, a friend and who I trust uh, felt like a dream come true. He introduced me to Erica. I immediately fell in love. We found the most amazing uh, writers uh, to help with our scripts and our cast. I am I, I'm in awe and adore every single one of them. Um, so the whole project start to finish. Um, I'm, I'm what about me specifically? You specifically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, but what, about, but what about me? Joey King uh, blew it out of the park. Wait, just you wait. No, it's true. Um, no, I, I, I cried a lot. Every time I saw uh, one of the cast on, on the monitor for the first time, Waterworks, um, and then again and again and again, I spent so long imagining the story. So to see it come to life through like these actors was just remarkable. And, and everybody took such care and held the story so delicately in their hearts. Uh, really, from start to finish, it's been such a joy and an honor to be a part of it. <laughs> well, I'm so glad to hear it. Erica. This is such a powerful story to tell to the audience. What was it about the book that spoke to you directly and pushed you to be part of this project? Wow. Well, I mean, when I read Georgia's book, I, I think I read it in about 24 hours. It's, it was one of the most incredible family stories I had ever read. Um, you know, I fell in love with the Quartz family. and. I think also as somebody who I felt like I had a pretty good education about the Holocaust, this was a lens onto the Holocaust that I had never seen before. I mean, this is through this one family, we get to span nine years, travel across four continents. It's this epic ensemble story. And I think the ability to tell sort of this diversity of Jewish stories within one family was so exciting and daunting. and. I felt like it was the opportunity of a lifetime, and to get to collaborate with these two ladies, I and you know it was it was the stuff of a writer's dream, and very hard, but also we had a lot of fun and joy surrounding this project. I think we knew when you're working on material like this, you need to surround it with love and joy, and that was what everyone brought to it. So it was a, it was a great experience. We're Absolutely. lucky to be here. Indeed, Joey. You had me bawling by the end of the first episode. Right. I want you to talk about being in the role of Helena and the connection you established while stepping into her shoes. Man, I mean, when you take on um, a story like this, because it's not, you know, when we talk about our characters, we talk about them as characters and we say role. But at the end of the day, those words don't quite feel right because this mm -hmm. is a person that I was playing. This is, this is a real human being that is related to Georgia. Yeah. Um, and there is a massive responsibility in that. And there is also a fear, but that's also the best part about it is because, you know, when you step on to set 
and there's a character, a role, a person, that requires you to learn a new dialect, to dive a little bit deeper into your research of a subject that is really tough and also close to your heart, um, there's, a, there's a scariness about it, but that means it's worth doing, absolutely. Um, and so, you know, Helena is just this incredible person who has so much bravery and so much strength. But when I was getting ready to play Helena, I asked Georgia and I asked her if she could ask her family, like, I wanted to know who Helena was outside of the war. What were some anecdotes about her that made her her? What was her personality like? What were some of her quirks? And I found out some really, truly like funny and bright things about Helena. Helena had a great sense of humor and she was really just like a bright light. And so I really wanted to focus on who was she outside of the war because I want to infuse that person into who this person is inside of the war. Mm -hmm. Um, Because she's a real human that a tragic thing happened to, but the tragic thing is not who she is. And so I was really um, excited, for lack of a better word, to... Um, step into her shoes and nervous Um, and I you know I admire Helena so greatly and playing her was was the role of a lifetime hands down it is I'm going back to Erica which of the characters would you have a connection to after going through this entire series oh wow I mean (laughs) this lady (laughs) obviously (laughs) but uh, no (laughs) Uh, I think what was What I did, I mean, truly about this story, what I found amazing is I felt a connection to all of them, which is important as a writer. You Mm -hmm. sort of have to find your your way into everyone's brain. We know you have to give a diplomatic answer. I know, I have to give a really (laughs) diplomatic answer. There was was one person. Well, I mean, I think part of it, I'm going to still be so diplomatic, but (laughs) but I think what was. There was something to sort of embrace Genic. about Genic. I mean, look, I will say I come from a family of lawyers, and Genic is a lawyer, so I did relate to Genic. But then there's Mila. I became a mom while working on this project, Aww. and Mila is a mom, and so I felt like I was able to relate to her on a whole new level. I think the am- the ambition and intelligence of what well, I just called myself intelligent. I didn't mean to. I really <laughs> didn't mean to. <laughs> but I related to Helena sort of wanting to, the, the sort of, I, I think exactly what Joe is saying that like she is not defined by what happens to her in that war. She is her own person. I just really admired that about her. That was such an exciting thing to yeah. get to write. I mean, yeah. they each of each of these characters had something that was so unique and distinct and I think that was what was most exciting is that they all had such unique personalities and then we had this amazing cast who brought them all to life in a way that just blew our minds every day. (laughs) One thing I also want to add that I forgot to say in my answer and it will make me feel really like bad if I don't add this was that playing Helena was fabulous because of um, these two wonderful ladies right here because I mean First of all, everything about Helena and her just wonderful personality was already in the book. It was so hearty and infused with like her joy and how she experienced everything. And the adaptation was so beautiful in, in Erica's script. Like Everything was on the page. As an actor, it was just so exciting to step into something that was so well written on in both forms um, that I just felt like you know I really wanted to do my job justice because they made it so easy. Can you tell that we all like each other? We really yes, like each other. I can tell. And I hope everyone loves this series. We Were the Lucky Ones comes to Hulu on March 28th with three, count them, three episodes premiering on that day and new episodes launching weekly. For Joey, Erica, Georgia, this is Dean on the scene for Snapshots, The Rogers Review. We'll see you next time.